I'm Dr. C. V. Kanaki Uttar Raj, uh, Director of Tamari Fertility and Women's Health Services. Uh, we have our fetal medicine center and Dr. Raj Navita, uh, who is a consultant obstetrician gynecologist and a postdoctoral fellow in fetal medicine. Uh, she is a consultant at our center. And uh, today we will discuss as to why uh, should we do a prenatal testing in the first three months. Navita, why should we do this testing because we are offering this off late yes. and why should we do it? Actually, uh, the pregnancy is a quite fun-filled and wonderful excitement for the whole family as such. Uh, in earlier stages, mother will be in excitement and later on as the pregnancy ad advances, she will be in the uh, unexplained ang anxiety, anxiety state. Anxiety of wanting to know whether this baby, baby is, is going to be normal. normal or not. So, how are you going to help her? This prenatal testing actually gives a reassurance mm -hmm. to the mother, expectant mm -hmm. mother that the baby is going to be normal no. and it also picks up the Down, Down syndrome, syndrome baby. What is the Hello. chance of it? Down syndrome baby? Actually by the WHO criteria it, is, it comes at around 1 in 700 mm -hmm. but uh, in our practice we, the incidence we, uh, we see more cases of Down syndrome. Cases. Yeah. Probably they are coming the for screening. Is, oh. Incidence is more what, what we, what we see. And uh, is it only for the older mothers that this risk is there or is it for the younger mothers also? Yes ma'am, actually uh, this uh, previously this screening was provided for elderly mothers like about uh, 35 but uh, as the incidence has come up very much higher, uh, now the criteria is being changed that we screen all the women irrespective of their age. Even if it is uh, the mother is uh, even 19 or 20. Uh, this test is becoming mandatory it's nowadays. It's becoming mandatory because nobody wants a down child in the family. Many, I mean, most of them do not want to. If they know, they like to terminate it early, and that's where your prenatal screening yes. comes. What is Down syndrome? How is the baby? Is does is it normal? Abnormal? How is it? Actually, it is Down syndrome. It is a it is a chromosomal abnormality. Uh, usually we have some rearrangements, missing chromosome and uh, extra chromosome. One such is the Down syndrome. Uh, Down syndrome, we have an extra chromosome. Normally all the individuals will have 46 chromosomes. Instead, this Down syndrome, people will have 47 chromosomes. Means extra pro one chromosome in 21 position. The 21st one. So we call it trisomy? Trisomy 20, 21. 21. And how will this baby look? Actually, uh, they look, the severity actually varies. Right. Uh, they look even normal. There will be subtle changes. There will be uh, ma ma major abnormalities, maybe also there, mentally retardation, uh, met mentally retarded, cardiac abnormalities, or no uh, no such major abnormalities. Uh, but it's just it looks developmental different. issues will be there. Yeah, the child, yes, and uh, yes. the, the child appearance, socially, like, uh, how it is. And, and there is no treatment for this Down syndrome. Yeah, that is only, very sad. Only thing we can be done is like we can support the whole family by counseling, mm -hmm. and every step milestones we can support the baby to come up come in up their in. stage. That's yes. all. So, so there is no certain so right life for that. It's a lifelong task, and it is a very difficult task. It is not exactly. an easy thing. Being a mother to a Down child is very difficult, yes. and therefore that's the reason why we are going so much into it. And what are the components of this testing? Actually, we have two components. One is we have to do a ultrasound. We call it as nuchal translucency scan. We measure the baby's limb and in the neck, we measure the fluid level in the baby. And then we draw blood from the mother and we do look for two markers, which is free beta HCG and one is PAPI. Right. So, they are biochemical markers. They are biochemical so, you markers. take these two tests, the scan test and the results of the nuchal translucency and the blood test and, and they are combined together and the mother's age as well as the weight of the mother. So it's all put into the software and we give a risk ratio. Okay, so you get a risk ratio from your software. Yes, that uh, risk will be either it is screen negative or screen positive. Screen positive. So what do you do for screen positive mothers? Screen positive in a sense the result would be do like... they all have? 
Brown syndrome. If they are screened positive, no. No, it doesn't mean that if uh, if the report is around one in, uh, for example, you say one in hundred, the chances for being uh, having, having the Down syndrome baby is in hundred uh, one in hundred. One that in is what the result tells. So it doesn't mean the baby is having a Down syndrome. Down. We have it to offer. It gives the chances. It gives the chances. It oh, gives the chances of how much percentage, the like how much the chances to expect. Expect. So suppose the risk is say one in ten thousand. How? What would you say to so this patient? It is patient? three negative. It is so three negative. not to worry. You can just and she doesn't them. need any further testing. And what are the further testing if they are screened positive? If they are screened positive and the risk is going to be uh, more than one in two fifty, we'll offer them invasive testing. That's the next level of testing. Mm-hmm. Uh, which includes either it is uh, chorion villus sampling, mm-hmm. which is done at 14 weeks of pregnancy. How do you do this? You just, you just put a needle mm-hmm. and we'll take some villus tissue, which is from the placental tissue. tissues, and we test on that. Yeah. And the other one is the amniocentesis, which mm-hmm. is put a needle. This is done much later, is it? It is in 16 weeks. 16 weeks. So chorion villus sampling is done. You go in and take it. Uh, Chorion villus sampling is done at 14 weeks and this amniocentesis is done at 16, 16 weeks. weeks. Okay. Just put the needle in amniocentesis and take the fluid around the baby and we do the testing. Ah, you check and for the chromosomes. chromosomes. Okay. They, and you get a complete uh, karyotypic picture. Okay. So that is 100%? Yeah, this is 100%. 100%. And for those who really so, don't want to yeah, do this. Yeah, there will be so many mothers who will say, I don't want tricks or I don't want anything to happen to this pregnancy. What is your yeah, answer? not. That? No, not to come near my pregnancy. <laughs> yes. All. For that kind of patients, we opt them. The other one is a new invention is non-invasive prenatal yes. testing, oh. which is uh, blood is taken from the mother around 10 to 20 ml, mm-hmm. and uh, they analyze the fetal cell free so DNA. You say the fetal DNA circulating in the mother. In the mother. That and is analyzed that. and oh. we can find in that. So that's the advance in technology. technology. Uh, so we uh, for such uh, in that test the detection rate is around ninety nine percent. It's not exactly like what so you have to compromise that one percent yes. if you don't, don't want, want an invasive, invasive testing. testing. So, so once if it is screen positive, this kind of further testings are uh, given uh, the chance of the choice depends upon the you mother. Give the options. The options are discussed with them, and they have to decide. And they make the decisions. So, so that is very nice. Uh, Avoiding because if you see a Down's child and how much the parents suffer with it, I think all the effort to find out in the first trimester with the help of so much modern technology, I think it's really mandatory that everybody. Do you think it's mandatory? Definitely mandatory. Do some patients refuse this testing? Nowadays it has come down. Yeah. The teamwork, the obstetrician who counsels the patient, that is very important. They have to give this choice of yeah. having such prenatal screening. The obstetrician should inform them this kind of prenatal testing, testing. is there. You have to do, and uh, the so it's a team counselling. Actually, the exactly. obstetrician counsels, the fetal medicine person counsels, and of course, the patient has access to so much information on the net. Also, of course, they should not get confused with too much information. Too much Best is to approach the specialist in the particular field and get them. Thing. And of course, the family also takes part in the counseling. Later, so, in uh, as the pregnancy advances, also if you find some problem, this uh, prenatal screening would guide us yes. in further continuation of pregnancy. You say if you find something on the scan later, which may uh, sus- you may suspect Downs, and if you have done the screening earlier, then you know it is it not due to Downs. Okay, very good, excellent. So thank you very much for that. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, enlightening us on why. Prenatal screening, what it is, etc. I hope more patients will make use of it and we will prevent the birth of Down syndrome babies. Thank you. Thank you.